Hey, this is Teratoots with a first look at the new sky painting feature in Terrigen Sky. This is a cool new feature that allows you to paint and remove clouds anywhere in the sky in a freehand manner, which opens up some really neat possibilities and artistic freedom. We'll take a look at the sky paint tab and do a quick walkthrough of the new tools and what they each do. The first thing you'll notice when you click the sky paint tab is that the main viewport splits in half. The two viewports are clones of each other and you can paint in either view but we can quickly see that the paint overlay only shows up on the left view, while the right view is left clear to see the clouds more easily. Clicking on the Sky Paint tab also brings up a small drop-down menu where we can change to a top and bottom split or a view with just the paint. For now, let's stay with the left and right split. The Canvases panel at the top of the screen allows us to select which layer of clouds we want to paint with. By default, Paint All is selected, but we can choose, for example, just to paint on Cloud Layer 2. Notice that the active layer is highlighted in red on the side. Let's stay with Layer 2 for now. Now, on to the Paint Tools. The default tool is Cloud Add, which is what we've been seeing so far. This is pretty self-explanatory. Clouds appear where you paint, and you can control the size of the brush as well as the opacity. Less opaque means fewer and thinner clouds. One tip is that for a more natural look, you'll often want to use less opacity when working with thicker cloud types and higher opacity for thinner cloud types. Next is Cloud Remove, which is also pretty self-explanatory. Simply paint where you don't want clouds, and away they go. This tool has the same brush size and opacity controls as the Cloud Add tool. The next tool is Erase Points. When we click the Erase Points tool, we can see that the brush strokes we're drawing are actually represented underneath by vector curves and points. Hovering the mouse will highlight different sets of points, and clicking and dragging will erase points. Like most actions in Terrigen Sky, erasing points can be undone with Ctrl Z. The next tool is Move. And what this will let us do is drag our whole set of points around the sky. For example, I can drag this hole to a different area. Finally, we have the Stir tool. This is similar to some of the Liquify tools in Photoshop if you've used those before. Clicking and dragging will distort and bend our points. The tool size setting here will let us change the area of effect to be smaller or larger. Another important tool to be aware of for basic sky painting is Edit Mode. We can access Edit Mode by pressing Spacebar, and what this will do is bring up a list of all our paint strokes on each cloud layer. The neat thing here is that we can actually select a stroke and adjust the size and opacity retroactively. For example, with our Cloud Remove layer here, This is also a way to remove paint layers. Just click the layer you want to remove and press the delete key. One other interesting thing you can do here is to drag paint strokes between cloud layers. So for example, if we painted this cloud add on cloud layer two, but decided we actually wanted it on cloud layer three, then we can just drag it over. And then if we turn on cloud layer three, we can see that our new cloud shows up here. Finally, if you need some inspiration, you can press Shift-B on the keyboard to bring up the Reference Image menu. This will allow you to load an image and project it on your sky and trace over it, which can be helpful if there are specific shapes you're going for. You can use the controls on the side to change the position and size of the image. and pressing the B key will cycle the image between transparent, opaque, and off. This is just scratching the surface of what sky paint can do, and there are a lot of other cool features we'll walk through in future videos, including painting viewpoints and exporting cloud layers to Terrigen 4. Hopefully this will get you started with the basics of sky painting, though. Enjoy!